Hi, grade sixes. Today what we're going to do is we're going to start our lesson on fractions. So this is going to take us through a, a few lessons on fractions. Uh, the first one that we're going to focus on is improper fractions. So I guess before we get going, let's just make sure we're all talking the right lingo. So first thing, here is a picture of what I'd consider a fraction. So you're going to have one number that is going to be above another number, and they're separated by this black line here that usually, for what I will do in this class, runs straight horizontally. Okay, so it's a number over another number. So that's what we call a fraction. The top number has a special name. It's the numerator, and I like to think of it as how much I have. So it's kind of the stuff you have. The denominator is the bottom number, and it's really important because it tells you how many pieces are in a whole piece. So it tells us how many pieces make up a whole. So it's really an important one. So the top number, the numerator, tells you how much you have. The denominator, the bottom number, tells you how much would be in like one whole piece. So let's give this a try. So first fraction here is we're going to deal with a proper fraction. So what does a proper fraction? It basically means that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So I'm using the less than sign here. Because the less than sign is opening up towards the denominator, the denominator is bigger. So the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So if the top number is smaller than the bottom number, that's a proper fraction. And this is what you've been dealing with in previous grades. So for example, this picture, this is how you do it. You'd write your fraction like this. You'd draw your line and you'd ask yourself, hey, what's my numerator? What's my top number here? It's the amount I have. Well, in this case, I've got one, two, and three pieces. So I've got three pieces. Now, the second thing I asked myself was, how many pieces make up the whole? Well, I'm going to assume this is a whole piece. So in this case here, you can see there's one, two, three, and there's four pieces that make up a whole. So my fraction would be three over four, or often we'd say three quarters. I have three quarters of a whole. So that's what we call a proper. proper. The top number, the numerator, is bigger than the bottom number, the denominator. Now, this year, this is where we're taking it to a new level. We're looking at improper fractions. So improper fractions are just the opposite. The denominator, or in this case, maybe I'll keep the same over, the numerator is now bigger than the denominator. And what ends up happening with this is we're dealing with things that have more than one whole to them. Okay, so let's say, for example, I had this picture here. And let's say we had all of this, 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 and one of these. So the question is, what would this fraction be? Well, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that line across. Remember, the top, the numerator, is how much I have. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine pieces. Now the denominator here, now this is the part that I sometimes find people get tripped up on. It's how much one whole piece has. So one whole piece in this case, I presume is actually just one of those. That's a whole. And you can see here, it actually has four pieces. A whole pizza or a whole cake, whatever this is, is cut up into four pieces. Sometimes I find students want to say, oh, a whole has four here and another four here and another. Oh, it must have 12. No, one whole piece here is cut up into four pieces. That's what your denominator is. So in this case, 
This is an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator, so the top is bigger than the bottom, and it represents I have more than one hole. So in this case, you can see I've got one hole, I've got two holes, and I have a little bit in the third piece. So that's what this improper fraction represents. So if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, it represents more than one whole. Let's try one more of this, because you might say, oh, this is kind of mind-boggling. So let's try this one. So this one, I want you to do the sketch here. So basically, I always start off by looking at the denominator. It tells me how much a hole has. So in this case here, maybe this is a pizza. Okay, so I've got a pizza here. Let me try that again. I want to make sure I get my pizza so it has the right number of pizza pieces. So for example, in this case, we want it to have six. So maybe what I'll do is I'll first cut this into three, and then I'm gonna divide each of these up. So our pizzas have six, so a hole has six. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start coloring in the hole. So you can see I'm gonna color in one piece of pizza here, two, three, four, five, six. I've colored in a whole pizza, and you'll notice I've only used six pieces. But in this question, I've got 11. So what I need to do is I need to draw a second pizza. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of draw it like this and then split these up. So my next set of pizza here, I am now at piece 7, piece 8, piece 9, piece 10, piece 11. So here is a picture of 11 six. I've got 11 pieces of pizza and each pizza, so here's one pizza, is divided into six parts. Hoping you're seeing what this improper fraction is all about and I'm hoping you're seeing this specific uh, part of it. What the denominator represents is what one pizza is cut up into. Have a good one.